struggle with coordinating colors for a scrapbook project, whether it's a layered design or any other design, then you want to check out this video. I'm going to show you a very simple online tool that will help you generate color palettes for your net scrapbooking project. Let's check it out. Welcome back to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about colors.co. Yes, colors.co, this is a free, well, somewhat free color palette generator that has all of these fantastic tools to take the guesswork out of figuring out a color palette for whatever project you're working on. To get started, you'll just click generate color or color generator rather, and you can select an image of your choice. And a lot of scrapbookers will typically try to coordinate their colors using their photos. So you upload a photo. This is a photo of my brother and his son, my nephew, Javon. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a color palette based on the colors in this photo. And there's lots of blues and lots of grays. And if you notice, there's a bar underneath the photo that has a color palette. Well, you click on any part of your photo and it will generate a color palette for you. So you don't have to second guess or double guess what colors to use. It'll do all the hard work for you. You can even move the little cursor there at the bottom and it will give you a whole variety of different color palettes. And you can just adjust this until you get the color palette that you want. Next, you can export the color palette. You can save it. You can even create a collage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export it. I'm going to print it out so I can put it along with my scrapbooking kit or use it actually to coordinate projects. So I'm going to go ahead and title this Love and Javon. My brother's name is Love. My nephew's name is Javon. And I'm going to go ahead and export this. Now, depending on your printer and your ink settings, uh, the color palette, if you print it, will might, might come out slightly different than what you see on screen. There's going to be the variation. But for the most part, it gives you a starting point. So I'm going to go ahead and print this out. Of course, with this tool, there are paid tools on here and there are a lot of people who use it from amateurs such as myself to professionals. So let's go ahead and put this to work by making a layout. I printed out my color palette and what I'm gonna do is select three primary colors to start with. Anytime that I'm working with a scrapbook page and trying to coordinate colors, I'm not trying to color coordinate all the colors of the rainbow. I'm gonna isolate three primary colors that I wanna work with and that's what I'm gonna use to select the product for my project. So here I'm just showing you the photo relative to the printout. I reached into my stash and grabbed a whole bunch of things. Now I'm not gonna use a lot of what I'm showing you. <laughs> I'm gonna use just a little bit of it, but you'll see how it comes together. So when I reached into my stash using the color palette that I generated using colors.co, dot co that is, I found this pattern paper collection that I had from close to my heart and it was perfect because it features a lot of blues. And because it has blue, I can also play off the coordinating colors that are in the paper pad or in this particular paper collection. In that case, it's yellow, a little bit of a orangey kind of dark orange kind of rose color. So I know that those colors coordinate with blue. Otherwise, the designers would not have made this collection with those colors. So that takes a lot of that guesswork out. With my primary color being blue, I can select the different shades and hues and kind of compare that to my printout. Or I could just look at it on my screen if I want to. I don't have to print it out from colors.core. Dot co rather and I'm looking at all the different papers that I have and I'm kind of making a selection based on the color palette so I know that I have some blues and some grays and that's going to start out as my primary colors and then I'm going to bring in some accent colors and because I know that red and yellow works well with blue on the color wheel I can comfortably select those colors to accent this project. Once my pattern papers are selected, I have the base color palette ready to go. I can now select elements to go along with this project. So included is the sticker sheet that's also a part of this paper pack that I had in my stash. But I also want to reach into my stash and grab products from other manufacturers. So I pulled some navy blue stickers and some light blue stickers, as well as some yellow letter stickers from my stash. I've got some October Afternoon Hip Kit Club. I also have some labels from one, another collection somewhere, some Pink Fresh Studio, just pulling bits and bobs and looking for those primary colors that are represented in my color palette as well as the little sticker sheet. So I see lots of oranges, reds, yellows, and blues. So I'm gonna pick things that'll work. Now, you may have heard me say this before, but the focus is not to match exactly. The focus is to coordinate and get as close as you can get. Let's go ahead and put the layout together. So I selected these pattern papers and I also selected a piece of gray cardstock. And if you didn't know, gray is a fantastic neutral that you can use with any color, just like black or white. I'm also going to use a circular pattern paper and I'm going to add that to the background. I have this blue, light blue pattern paper that I trimmed down. Now this layout is eight and a half by 11 inches and I have a four by six inch photo that I'm gonna be using today. 
I also cut a strip of that striped paper and then a dark piece of pattern paper that's going to go right in the center and that is going to frame out my photo. So as you can see, I have a lot of blues going on there, but they all coordinate very well. I also have my journaling where I'm talking about my brother and my nephew and how I can't believe that my brother is a granddad now and my nephew is a father and a lot of things change over the years and I just love them. They're my favorite guys. I'm going to pull over some embellishments that I selected from the various things that I pulled. Again, I'm not using all the stuff that I pulled out, but I am focusing on the colors that work well with blue. And so I'm using the pattern paper and the colors in the pattern paper to help me with that. Again, you don't have to have an expansive knowledge of color palettes or color theory. Just play off of what you have. Now, as far as layering is concerned, when you're working with a color palette, it gives you a natural starting point in terms of what colors to use for your layers. So notice I have a little layer cluster there on the right hand side. Now the primary color that I use for this pro for this project is blue based off the color palette I generated. Your primary color could be whatever it is and by primary I mean it's the main color that you're using for your project not necessarily primary colors that we refer to in color theory but it's the main color that you want to use. So my main color on this layout is blue and I'm going to bring in elements that accent that color that main color that I'm using. So I have this blue camera and then I have a yellow clip because blue and yellow do work well together on the color wheel and then I'm bringing in this sort of a dark pink maybe reddish type little banner just to accent that and of course I have a lighter color maybe a coral color there of the uh, tag that's on the left hand side of the little paper clip and that cluster came together perfectly it's nice it's layered and it features all of the colors that I want that coordinate with my project. And so I would just follow suit, creating other clusters in that same manner. It doesn't mean that each cluster has have the exact same thing, but in terms of the type of element that is. But what you wanna do is balance out your clusters with the coordinating color palette that you're using. So I'm gonna use a little bit of blue, a little bit of coral and whatnot on that top red cluster, and I'll do so if I create other clusters here on this project. I'm going to go ahead and put the layer or the title down rather and I'm using these letters that say hello that came in the sticker sheet and I did back those with some foam adhesive and the title is going to read hello my guys or I love my guys or something like that. We'll see that here in just a second. It's been a few weeks since I've created this layout. I'm going to go ahead and adhere the photo down. This is a four by six inch photo and I'm just going to put that right there towards the bottom middle of the layout and then I typed my journaling just in Microsoft Word and printed that out on white cardstock. I'm going to balance that out with two brackets and I'm going to tell you I haven't used brackets in years. I mean over 10 years and so you know what I think I'm bringing brackets back guys. <laughs> I absolutely love the way that it's going to frame out the journaling. Now there are some of these elements on here that have a wood grain texture and I love it because it brings texture to the layout from a visual standpoint, not so much from a physical, like you can fill the wood grain because it's cardstock, but it brings a nice texture to kind of balance out the colors. It's a nice neutral and it works very well. So I'm going to frame out my journaling with these brackets and then I'm going to create a small cluster to the top of the journaling. I'm keeping this somewhat clean and simple. I'm going to bring in a little circle that's from the sticker sheet as well as this banner that says best day and this little chipboard piece that's from Pink Fresh Studio I believe that says cool 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 and I thought that would be perfect. My nephew lives in Hawaii and this picture was taken while my brother was visiting him him. And so there's palm trees and they were actually at the beach on that day. And so I thought, you know, having a little die cut that says, or a chipboard piece that says, cool, cool, cool about, you know, the, the two coolest guys that I know would be perfect as they're sitting there in their tank tops and enjoying the beautiful weather there in Hawaii. I'm going to get those nice and adhered. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow into the mix with the title. And those letters, of course, are multicolored, which I absolutely love. And it's bringing in not only the primary color that I'm using or the main color that I'm using, but it's bringing those accent colors. And so I want to further accent the title with these sticky key stickers that I hoard forever and a day. They're from October afternoon. If you're familiar with that line, they're no longer around. So I'm keeping them forever. I decided to use them. They're just so fun. Then I decided there needs to be something at the bottom. So again, going to create a small little cluster wanting to incorporate the colors so there is some continuity between that top cluster, the one there to the left hand side, which I probably could have added a little bit of yellow to that one. And then of course here at the bottom. So I have the blue, the yellow, and that nice little coral color. I'm gonna add this label that says, this is us. And I think with that, this project is done. So using the colors.co color generator, I was able to generate a color palette and then use that color palette to search my stash for products that will coordinate 
to create a really nice composition. The main color that I used for this project is blue because that's primary what's on the color palette, but I could have adjusted that color palette and created any type of color palette that I wanted to based on the colors and the color generator would help me do that. I don't have to worry about having extensive knowledge in design or color theory. I also have some beautiful accent colors that play off the main color, which is blue, some yellow, some corals, a little bit of orange. It all came together seamlessly and I created beautiful clusters in the process. If you have any questions about this technique or about colors.co, make sure you post it down in the comment section. By the way, this was not a sponsored video. I just like this tool because it's really cool. If you want to learn more about laying, layering, click on that video on your screen and I'll see you guys in the next one. Late nights, late nights, don't get around.